Hello, gals and girls, or girls and guys and everybody else. I don't know. Girls, guys, whoever is watching this. The one person. Hi. <laughs> uh, my cat's watching, at least. Anyway, we're one of them. I am taking you back in time this week. And we're going back to see about, maybe, if we can focus. I don't even know if it's focusing. Is it focusing? I don't know. Anyway, it's the My Father's Cigar, the Gran Oferta. The Gran Oferta. And this has been out for quite a while. Uh, I think it was released, what, 2018, I believe, or 19, 18. But uh, it's new to me. I've never had one. Um, grabbed them at my local shop over there. Um, and it's nice because I don't know if you can see that's going to look clear on the camera it's changing it but it, it's a nice brownish wrapper um, maybe if I hold it up to the paper you'll be able to see it eh not really okay well anyway wow how humid it is my paper is already just so it just feels like somebody dumped water on it and I've only been out here like five minutes. Hopefully it won't affect this. But, who knows. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my V-cutter on this puppy. And see how we can do this. There we go. Mmm. Beautiful draw. Mmm. Nice cocoa. Really nice cocoa taste on the, on the cold draw. Now, what do I have here? Oh yeah, the, the wrapper is uh, Ecuadorian Habano, and the rest is Nicaraguan, and binder filler. So, I mean, other than that, it's anybody's guess. Let's see if my lighter keeps working. I need a lighter that can stand up to like five cigars a day for 20 years. That would be awesome. I don't think they make anything like that though. Mm. It's my father's cigar. So you know what I'm going to say. Pepper. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not real strong. And it might just be because of the age of the cigars. Um, I'm not sure exactly when this was rolled. I guess they're still out. I don't know. I mean, it, it was... You would think they would be sold already at my local shop if, if they'd been out of production. Especially way back like that. So, anyway. Um, it has a bit of a sweetness to it. Really nice volume of smoke. I mean, you could see it there. It just coats the palate. Cocoa. Leather. Tiny bit of it. Not really woody. Not, not too much woody in there. Sorry, woody. That, yeah, you can definitely... I mean, that, that the pepper and the cocoa is what I taste the most right now. But that's right at the beginning, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. Anyway, um, again, I'm not sure thirds, halves, whatever, um, depending on the weather. If it starts pouring down rain or something, I might be back earlier than that. Uh, anyway, I will be back, and we will see how the La Gran Oferta, Oferta, is that how you pronounce it? I hope so. Sorry if it's not. We'll see how it does. Oh, righty, people. I came back here. We just got to the first band. Or, I did. And, uh, unless you're smoking with me, then maybe we both did. Ah, that'd be cool. Anyway. Um, it was, it almost seemed stronger in the beginning. 
probably because with the the pepper and, and such going on than what it is now it, it really settled down into a nice medium smoke um, at the beginning I was like oh man this thing's gonna turn full real quick but it hasn't um, it's uh, now I mean if you know my father's cigars they really don't do mild um, and this this is no exception of course but so far it has that nice it has a cocoa and coffee taste to it um, I don't know if it would be like a chocolate coffee I don't know I never had flavored coffee like that um, but in the the pepper is still kind of there but it's really pushed back and there's a little bit of a, a spice coming into play I can't figure out what it is yet I don't know if it's gonna stick around or not let me take a puff here but yeah there's a Man, I just can't place that. But there is a, a spice there that you can taste. And it's not pepper or anything. Anyway, um, maybe you can figure it out and tell me in the comments. Uh, but so far, it's really a nice cigar. Um, so I'll go ahead and shut the hell up and I'll come back either after another third or at the end or no nah, we'll see did you miss me anyway <laughs> I'm back here getting close to the main band I should say and uh, it, I mean there's a little bit of like the the nicotine that you can start to feel it but it, it's nothing major yet um, right, I mean, I was just thinking about, wow, what could you eat with this? You know, or, or have this after you eat, and it would go great, great, with a nice steak dinner. Well done steak. Oh, not that red stuff. No, no, no. But, hey, take a puff here. Smoke volume is still there. I've been getting more coffee. Um, the the cocoa's been taking a, a back note. Uh, now I, I was drinking coffee, so I don't know if that helped to enhance it. Um, so I switched to water, and I'm still getting coffee taste. So um, that spice that I couldn't figure out what it was really isn't there I don't I don't really taste it anymore smooth it's not you know even through the uh, retro hail it, it's just it doesn't like destroy your sinuses it's not you know that kind of a pepper bomb or anything you know going on um, it has of course you can taste the pepper but it's nothing that it's up front and that's the only thing you're gonna taste um, you have that uh, why I said like the steak dinner is you have that charred meat kind of taste going on and you know like a piece of fat or something it gets a little crispy and, and you know what I mean but that's what I, I that's what I'm thinking here cigars burning cool it's uh, I had a touch up one time uh, and that was just I mean it was starting to canoe and I just didn't want to let it go I figured I'll just touch it up quick uh, I did forget to say um, price point on these I mean now of course there's varying prices everywhere but figure like 8 to 12 or 7 to 12 8 to 12 I guess yeah might be down the seven dollar range by a box like with the robusto or something this is a toro so um it's probably about eight dollars and something you know for for one of them if you can still find them like i said this is this is an old cigar so 
Oh, we're, we're in the way back machine now. But I'll come back at the end and we'll see how it finishes out. Alrighty, I'm here at the end of my, see if it focuses, La Grande Oferta, Ofer, oh, Oferta, I, I guess. Anyway, um, it actually kind of backed off a little bit from that uh, bit of nicotine I was getting there in the in the middle, and more of a leathery taste came out. The pepper is really back there far. Um, that other spice is still there, and I it's kind of I mean it's almost like a dry rub type deal where it just tastes like there's a couple different things in there. Let me take a puff here. It almost it's going out, um, but that that charred meat was there, and then it did like an abrupt switch over to the leathery taste that I was uh, getting here at the end. Um, I'm just touching it up here so I can grab another puff or two. It's still pretty creamy, not soft, I don't know how you want to describe it, but it, it coats your palate and has a good volume of smoke. And there's that, man, I just cannot nail that taste down that I'm getting. reminds me of like the the grill meat stuff that Montreal steak seasoning or whatever just subtle you know it's not like it's there in front of you because the pepper's still there and that other spice is coming in a little salt here and there that you taste and I don't know, I'm just weird who knows Yeah, the cigar's not hot. I mean, there's no heat to it at all. I mean, I'm holding it right here at the at the burn mark almost, and it, it's it burnt decent. Um, I had well with that last one three touch-ups, but that one was my fault. I just took me too long to get set up again. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a nice cigar, and it would go, like I said, it would really go well with, like, after a steak dinner or a prime rib dinner or, you know, a heavier-type meal. I mean, it's not something where you want to grab a sandwich and then smoke this. I, I don't think that would really let you experience the full thing in this cigar. And I'm not even experiencing the full thing. I don't believe because I didn't have that big heavy meal you know right before smoking this but it, it just it gives you those vibes when you're smoking it that if you it would stand up against a heavy you know you are like a with bourbon or something you know with a stronger bourbon it, it won't you won't get overpowered by the bourbon where the cigar can keep up anyway um, that's all I got to say so till next time, keep smoking.